Hello there. What's going on, everybody? I wanted to bring to you a little bit of optimism today on a Monday that maybe you're feeling a little down because we haven't gotten any Armada news in a long time. The message boards, the forums have been going crazy with people saying Armada is dead, Armada is dead. Uh, and like all of that has come back and it feels like we're in this cycle every you know, every six months to a year or so, we get into this Armada is dead uh, mindset. And it's driving me crazy because I think people are failing to see the big picture here. First off, um, Armada is not dead. And, and I've said this before, I've said this over and over and over again, but I'm saying it again. When they cancel a game or when a game is discontinued, they let us know. They are going to say if it's going to die. If this is the last expansion, they're going to tell us. They've done it with the LCG. They've done it with Netrunner. And the thing is, even when that happens, even if FFG were to say that Armada was dead, that just means it's no longer supported. I mean, of course, they wouldn't say it's dead. A game like that isn't ever going to die as long as people keep playing it. And it's a good enough game that people will definitely keep playing it. It's a good enough system that people will definitely keep playing it. And they will probably have community support and we've seen stuff like that already. I've developed an expansion. You've got Kuat Drives, Shipyards. There's lots of community support to keeping the game going. And probably would do, uh, you know, get even more regular updates if it was run by the fan community. But speaking of Armada being dead, it's not dead. You have to consider something else. They're doing the largest expansion in history from FFG. The largest expansion that they've ever done. Bigger, it's bigger than this. It's it's a lot bigger than this. You're talking like, it's the biggest thing they've ever made. The biggest thing FFG has ever made is currently being made for Armada right now. This is the largest and most expensive sp expansion in history from FFG. It's coming out just for Armada. Does that sound like something they would do for a game that's dead? Honestly? There's no chance. They wouldn't waste... It's got to be expensive to, to, to manufacture something that big. It's time-consuming. It's, you know, shipping. You've got... You know, you can get less product in each in each box. You know, it's not something you do for a game that's, that's dead or you're planning to, you know, just, sh you know, throw away. But we have to face the facts that they're not giving us a whole lot of news. So a lot of people are really curious as to why that is. Well, you got to consider a couple of things, right? It's For one, it's Star Wars. And so because, you know, certain licensing, you know, has to go through a license or approval through somebody else, it's not like they can just drop an article at the drop of a hat. And they, you know, things have to get approved. They can't, because if, if there was no approval process, what's to stop FFG from just saying, oh, yes, and... Um, Poe Dameron's going to die in the next expansion, and you know, and it turns out his mother is actually Jabba the Hutt uh, in this new, you know, article that comes out or whatever. You know, they 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 can't do stuff like that. So so articles and things like that, all of that stuff has to be approved. So it's a lot slower for you know some of those things to get out. Now, obviously, you're like, wait, 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 but we also have X-wing and Legion, and those articles seem to roll out like like wildfire. Well. Yes, I'm. while I am being optimistic, I'm also no fool. X-Wing and Legion are the hotness right now, and they are the priority. You know, that's basically the, the fact that we have to understand. That's not to say that Armada won't ever be hot and won't ever have priority again. Uh, that's certainly not the case. But the fact of the matter is, Armada is lower priority than X-Wing and Legion. Now, I have talked to people at FFG about Armada, uh, well, while I'm not going to talk about specifics of conversations, I will tell you the general idea is that they have not forgotten about Armada. And it is just a, simply a matter of priorities. Certain games have, you know, have more, a higher priority level. And, and that's honestly, you have to think about this too. Armada's in a good spot right now for it to be slow going. Because we have a lot of stuff out. We have a lot of products. And more product is constantly coming back in stock. Speaking of what's coming back in stock. Oh, oh, these little guys right here? You, these little guys right here? Yeah, you can get these guys. They're, they're coming back. They're showing back up now. Oh, and these little guys right here? These little guys right here? Yeah, you, you can get these guys now too. Oh, and, and, and what, about, what about these little guys right here? Oh, these little guys right here? I wouldn't worry about those little guys right there. You can get those now too. They're all showing back up, right? 
The only things we need more of is the uh, the fighter ones, and uh, and those will be coming soon. I'm I'm certain. So I don't want you guys to worry because more product is showing up. The biggest expansion in history is coming in, and and not only that. Did, have you seen the new Descent app campaign that just was announced like out of the blue? I don't play Descent. I have played Descent. I'm not a Descent Descenty guy. I don't know if you call somebody who plays Descent, but I'm not a Descenterist. New word. Anyway, but that was a game a lot of people, I have friends who play Descent, were convinced that game was dead. And they just were like, boom, oh, whole, whole new campaign right away. There it is. Surprise. You know. So just because the game goes on low priority doesn't mean that it's dead. That's all it means is for Armada. Is Armada is just lower priority right now. But there are good times ahead. Uh, and, and I'm not going to stop making content for it. The game is in an amazing place right now. Everything goes. Now, who does have a valid argument? Rebels. I can see Rebels having a valid argument. You looks like you get nothing for like a year, Rebels. Well, maybe and maybe not. Because there is a bright side for the Rebels. It's not a super, super bright side, but there is there is a bright side in that. And I talked about in one of my other videos about like double double broadsides. Is that, uh, I probably should have worn my broadsides shirt today. It would have been better. Um, no, the gameplay is going to change for the Rebels once the Super Star Destroyer comes out. And how is that going to change? Well, it's going to change for like, I think, honestly, I'm predicting... The Nebulons are going to see more play. I, I honestly do expect Akbar double Nebulon, um, double double broadside Akbar Nebulons might actually be might might actually be competitive. Might, and I know that's a big might, but dude, like you can just pull pull these guys like like just have them all fly up like right next to it, like oh Akbar and enhanced armament one two. Three, four, five, six dice, or you know, so many dice. Concentrate fire, so many dice, and fire both sides, and just blah, blah, blah. insanity. I just see it. maybe that'll be a thing, you know. And and there's other ships that can do it even better. I think Argentins. I think Argentins are really gonna wreck faces against uh, Super Star Destroyers. I think I think for people that aren't running Super Star Destroyers, I think there's gonna be a whole lot of counter Super Star Destroyer meta that shows up. Was really going to shake up the game and give you options to run things that maybe you wouldn't have considered before. Uh, maybe to make certain other things potentially quite viable. I can see, you know, certain commanders that never get flown getting flown. I can, you know, I can see a lot of stuff. I'm actually still really curious to see how Constantine is going to interact uh, if he's going to work on a Super Star Destroyer. I would love to see that. I would really love for them to FAQ and say, "Oh, Constantine, by the way, if he is on a Super Star Destroyer, boom." You know, so there is a lot of stuff that's out there. Other thought dead, supposed dead games are still getting supported. There's so much, and and the, and the biggest expansion in history is 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 coming out specifically for Armada. So really, I think we can be a little bit patient. I want an article just as bad as you guys do. I probably want the article more so than you guys do because then I will actually be able to talk about Super Star Destroyer stuff that gets published as opposed to all the stuff that's all over FFG's message boards right now that I'm forbidden from talking about until they make an article. But that's a whole separate story. But yes, there are very, very good times ahead. There is absolutely no reason to panic as much as people are panicking. Uh, there's just a whole lot of negativity out there. And I understand it, but it's wrong. It's it's wrong because it's just not it's it's not representative representative of what's actually you know needs to be happening. There doesn't need to be any community outrage. There doesn't need to be that now. Pr pressure is one thing. Reminding FFG that we need more news is one thing. But we don't want to be seen as a problem child community either. I think we want to be seen as a fantastic community. And that's generally how I believe we are seen, and most people will feel the same way, especially most people within our community, whether it's the message boards or the Armada Discord or the different uh, sites or you guys that are in, in, in my comments or, or just everywhere that I see people or on Facebook, when I see people talking about Armada, for the most part, everybody's cool. People are very kind, supportive, uh, and, 
and honestly, even a little optimistic sometimes. It's, it, it's harder to become optimistic, and I understand that when, we're, when you are a lower priority game, but it's not unreasonable, and it's, there's no reason to panic when the biggest expansion in history is coming for our game. So I just wanted to cheer you up a little bit. There's plenty of good stuff in our future, I'm certain of that. I still think they are going to do Clone Wars for Armada, and I think, again, it's going to probably depend on how well X-Wing and Legion do with Clone Wars, and I am certain those are going to completely be home runs, which means we are in for a really big payday someday. I say payday, I don't know why I call it payday, but just, you know, to see that Armada Wave X, you know, boom, Clone Wars shenanigans extravaganza, you know, back to the good old days of like, oh, well, look, there's four new expansions announced today for Armada. Awesome. You know, that's those days are, are going to happen again. You know, it's, it's definitely going to be there someday, someday. So just just keep your keep your head up. There's plenty of other games that you can play in the meantime, and you can still play Armada in the meantime. It's, even if they never made anything else, it's still such a great game, and I'm really grateful for that. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. There is still time to enter that Super Star Destroyer giveaway, so if you uh, don't want to miss out on that, make sure you're a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. I will be announcing the winner for that on December 21st. Uh, so you can win the Super Star Destroyer, and not, you know, and they're bigger than this. I mean, the Bellator is cool, but they're way bigger than this. It's like 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 that big or some, some crazy nonsense. Like I I can't even. The thing is, I've seen it. I've been to Gen Con and I've seen. I've seen the Super Star Destroyer, and I still can't even wrap my head around how big it is. I wasn't allowed to touch it, I guess. I, maybe they should they should have let me touch it. I got close. I got close. Almost. I got an almost. I got a maybe. So they, they asked a couple of people, but I ultimately got denied. It's close. I was like, I feel like I was almost. It was like I was like Indiana Jones and who almost had the Holy Grail, although I think he did. Anyway, getting off topic. That's all I got for you guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out crabbox.com. You can hop over to my Discord and say hi as well. Uh, big thanks to my patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing. So I want to thank you all so much for your continued support. And as always, have a great day.